Nobody up to the fort in a long time. Great place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Gee up. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn coyotes. What a waste of good meat. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. 
You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. Implored. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Over there, 
Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Yeah! And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't bite. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. <laughs> 